Hey guys, it's Kirk from I Am Music. We thought we'd do something a little different this time and play around with sending some system exclusive data. In our case, we're going to do it from Logic Pro from our DAW, but uh, as long as you have a device that can send system, ex system exclusive uh, data, uh, you should be able to do this. So we thought we would um, you know, show that we can push some of the buttons, I'm going to call them, or tabs as they call them in Keytron speak. Uh, you know, introduction, fill, break, ending, you know, those kinds of things. And at the same time, we'll send over a couple of um, uh, bank and program change commands so that we pick, uh, we'll, we'll do two things. We'll pick a factory rhythm and, you know, stop it, start it, all that kind of stuff from Logic. And then we'll switch and load a user style just to show you how to get to the user banks. Not sure what you're going to do with this, but it's uh, some fun and we thought we'd put a video together. All right, let's look at some uh, settings you need to do on the SD40 side so this all works. So I'm going to go to Menu. I'm going to go to MIDI. And notice we're currently using the um, default factory computer and sequencer um, preset, I'll call it, MIDI preset. <clears throat> we are plugged into MIDI N2 on the back of the Keytron, by the way, which corresponds to this button here, Arrange Your Keyboard. So let's go ahead and hit that. And notice we've got Receive uh, Channels turned on. You need to touch Filter, and over here, Tabs is currently lit up yellow, which means it's filtering tabs. Not exactly sure what tabs means in Italian, but tabs equates to the buttons that uh, at least I call them buttons here. So we're going to change this uh, over here. Notice it says drum one and all parts. I'm going to hit all parts and I'm going to turn off tabs, which basically says that for all the different sections, you know, upper, lower, drum one, drum two, all those things, it will accept uh, system exclusive notice and allow us to push the tabs or the buttons from our external device. And, and again, in our case, we're going to be doing it from uh, uh, Logic Pro. And then if you hit save, if you'd like, you can save that configuration so that that is, you know, always set up for you, whatever MIDI configuration it turns out you need. So everyone probably knows this, but uh, let's just go over it so that uh, the next couple things we do make more sense. So over here, um, you know, different categories of sounds. Let's go over here to the styles. Same thing, uh, let me turn that off first. Um, so uh, this would be bank 30, by the way. I'm sorry, I'm, not, I'm sorry, not 30, 40, bank 40, to get to the factory um, styles. And then user styles are in bank 50. And there's actually a couple of more banks. It's like 40 through 44. Four, I think it is, and 50 to 54, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and then, uh, so, so we're going to go ahead and pick one of these sounds, or styles, I should say, and we'll hit an intro and a fill and a break, and, you know, we'll do all that stuff with sysx commands um, just to demonstrate that it works. And then uh, while we're talking about banks, if you go to, uh, just to the voices, um, the voices are um, banks uh, 0, 1, I want to say... Uh, hmm. I don't have my cheating sheet in front of me. Uh, 0, 1, 10, 11, and 72, if memory serves me right. And then the user sounds are banks 30 through 34. So if you didn't know that, um, and you're working from an external device, and you can pass along the bank commands or MSB data with program change, uh, again, um, 30, 40, and 50 are the ones that maybe aren't as well known. So let's, uh, let's hop over and take a look at uh, some stuff. I'm not going to really teach you logic, but we are going to use logic to do this. So we're going to set up a small little file and uh, put some stuff in it and see what happens. All right, so we mentioned earlier, we're not really here to teach you logic, but let me explain a little bit about what you're seeing. And we, we kind of set this up on purpose with a couple of different tracks, hoping it would be easier for folks to follow. Um, so track one, style select. And if you look over here, this is um, 
the event lists uh, view and notice we picked bank 50 remember that's a user bank for styles and we pick bank 13 which happens to be 16 beat 3 and later on in the video we'll, we're going to try and shoot it so you can see it changing that style as, as this scroll by um, then on our next track uh, we just hit a C2 right so that's one C below middle C just so it would play a C chord so you could hear the uh, bass and the chords and the, you know the accompaniment parts in the style if you don't do that all you're going to hear is um, the percussion parts then in our next track we have some SysX data right and that's the that's the stuff that you guys want to talk about so this first line and I'm going to point here where it says 67 and 64 that's really the commands all this other stuff is is needed but really what you care about is 67 is where we hit arranger a that's that button 64 is where we hit the intro button in our case intro 3 okay then a little bit further on out here if we go out to uh, let's see here hang on here we go uh, all right so now out at measure 9 so in this dead space here the introductions playing probably should have picked a different style because the intros like takes forever to play nonetheless uh, when it gets to measure 9 it's going to hit a fill button and, and I'm not sure how well I can show that but uh, uh, watch I'll, I'll try and uh, annotate that in the um, in the shot of the Keytron so you can see we hit the fill and then we switch from uh, Arranger A to Arranger C and that's what you see over here oops you guys don't care about that let me uh, just put that to sleep for a while and then uh, a measure or two later we hit the break and what you want to see here is six Charlie followed by seven Fox is touching the break button notice six Charlie again that's the break button but zero zero means we took our finger off the break button and I'll have to admit I had a fool around with this a few times because you know I would assume when you hit the break button, which is this first command, it would just hit the break button and release the break button. Nope, turns out you need to issue the following command with the zero zero in place of seven fox. So seven foxes hit the button, zero zero is let go of the button. Uh, then we turn around and we switch it to arranger D, right? And so that's the six A part of the command. And then finally we hit the enter uh, ending button which is a 64 in the 6x string so we will uh, I'll, I'll put some notes down in the video description uh, so you can link to our blog where we will document these commands in case you can't follow them in the video too well so next thing we'll do is we'll try and uh, superimpose the keytron on this shot and as Logic is playing this file, um, we should be able to watch the buttons on the Keytron change as, you know, as these green blocks appear. Let's see what happens. that you were able to follow along there uh, what we tried to demonstrate was logic was playing a small little uh, project we put together 
that had sysx commands in it which were pushing buttons on the SD40 and of course you could go add other tracks to that project if you wanted to put in you know yourself playing along or singing or whatever else you wanted to do um, so it's another way of using uh, the SD40 with a DAW versus doing everything from a, a MIDI controller so we're just considering our DAW kind of a different controller in this case but there might be some folks that are interested in doing something like like that. As always, thanks for watching. Brace.